Okay, you got receipts. And you got some receipts on some big ticket items that you've purchased, like a lawnmower or bicycles or car batteries and such. How do you organize those receipts, especially when there are warranties attached to them? I'm gonna give you guys some great ideas for Tip Tuesday today on organizing your receipts, especially those Today our focus is ones with warranties on them. This came at no better time. In fact, it inspired today's tip from my own personal life. Go figure. I get it, you know, an op- opportunity to to have some real practical application with this tip today that I hope will change the way that you organize and keep receipts. Now, I think it's a great idea to keep all high-end, when I mean say high-end, I mean like pricey type items. Uh, Keep those receipts for those items, particularly the ones with warranties on them. For example, uh, a few years ago we bought a refrigerator and we bought a, a weed eater. Those things obviously cost more, but they also had warranties attached to them. And as you know, guess what, these receipts, they fade over time. So a couple things I'm gonna give you a tip on about them is number one, you can scan them. Scan them and keep them in a warranty folder on your computer, particularly I would say on the cloud for even better security and better accessibility to it. But if you choose not to scan it, maybe you're not into scanning, you're not faithful in doing it, well at least take that receipt and make a copy of the original receipt and then staple them together. Because be honest, if you get a four year extended warranty on something, by the time four years rolls around, this receipt is probably gonna be faded. And you're gonna like, uh, what did I? what is this receipt for? Like, what it, did I buy it? Is that an eight or is that a five? I don't know. What, what store? I think it was Lowe's. I don't know. So copy it. So if you're not gonna scan the receipt, copy the receipt, but you need to be organized with your scanning. If you're gonna scan it, make sure it goes into a proper folder labeled warranty items or something that you'll really easily recall. Get rid of the paper when you don't need it once you've scanned it. But if you choose not to scan it, again, make a copy. Now here's a, here's a real world practical application. My vehicle has been in the shop for over a week now. Been trugging along here, finding rides from my family. And they call me and say, hey, Lorraine, we have a great news. A lot of your work is going to be covered under warranty. Really excited. However, we found something else on your car. Of course you did. That's why I take it to you. You have a tendency to find all the things that I didn't even know was wrong with the vehicle. Of course you did. Okay, so I'm listening, intensely I'm listening, and I'm saying, okay, what's wrong? Well, your battery does not even start. Like you're, like you can't, we have to jump off and start your battery. It's like, well, it was good when I took it to you, so now you're saying the battery's bad. They said yes. I said, okay. Um, They said, well, it's gonna be about $200 for a brand new battery and it'd be a good battery. And I'm like, hmm, I said, I, I said, before you do that, I said, let me check my records. I'm organized, right? Let me check my records. And I think I have a battery that is currently on it that we purchased a warranty with it. And he said, okay. So I got the receipt out voila from my paper filing system and i did exactly what i told you guys copy the receipt then the original receipts here and hope in this case it's really great condition and uh i'm looking it over and i'm like oh it says it's a it's a pro rated warranty is what it says on the receipt i could be reading that incorrectly for that company's coding but it looks like it to me it's a pro rated warranty and I said, well, the warranty's gonna expire like in about 45 days, but we've caught the battery before it's completely out, you know, out of the warranty phase. And I'm gonna get some money back on that warranty. So I call, in this case, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and I say, hey, here's my information on my receipt. I have it. And the first thing he does is, do you have your receipt? Yes, I do. I'm an organizer. Let me tell you how much I have my receipts. Tell him. 
He says, oh, ma'am, he said, actually, your battery is 100% replaceable at no charge. I'm like, well, my receipt says, he says, oh, he said, don't worry about that. He says, actually, that's what you purchased. That's what you got. And I was like, awesome. So I call back the automotive guy and say, hey, I'm not going to need your $200 battery. I'm going to use my organize. I found my organizing system in my, um, I'm a receipt in my organizing system and I'm going to actually get the battery for free. Now this receipt is how old? It's dated September 29th, 2017. That means if I'm going to get about approximately $200 savings because I was organized enough to keep a receipt and be able to file it away or store it away somewhere that now is paying off. So I wanna encourage you guys to make sure that you're organizing your receipts. You're organizing your, whether it's a scan copy or a paper copy and you have a filing system to store it in. So I just saved myself $200 from being organized. Drop the mic the paper, whatever, drop everything. That's an awesome example of being organized. And I want to make sure you guys take this tip and run with it. If you have a warranty manual or a manual that comes with the product that you purchased, like a washer, take this information and staple it on the inside of the manual. If you're keeping the manual, some of you don't keep them. You'd rather go online and find it. Either way, there's not a wrong way. It's just whatever your way is, make sure you're very disciplined in storing that information. So that's, that's my tip today is organizing your receipts, particularly when there's a warranty with something and it will pay off big at somewhere down the line. $200, guys, that's big. Okay, tip Tuesday giveaway for the month of August is this educational lap desk. Don't think it has to be used just for kids. It's You can open it inside. It's collapsible and it's portable. Thin handle, everything. Even on the front here, it has a place for your pencil and pen. We're giving this away and there's a couple color options if you win for the month of August. So how do you win? Leave comments down below or share any of our Tip Tuesdays from the month of August. That means last Tip Tuesday or anyone going forward on in the month of August. And at the end of the month, we're gonna tally it all up. And if you get chosen, we'll notify you in Messenger. But share all the Tip Tuesdays in August and also make comments and you can have a chance to win that portable collapsible desk. My granddaughter doesn't know it, but it's going to her. This one is Christmas. Already decided, probably gonna buy two more for my other grandkids. These are awesome. So, all right, Tip Tuesday here. I'm bringing you tips each week on your home, business, or life. Like a tip to help you better get organized. If you have any suggestions for future Tip Tuesdays, please also leave them in the comments as well. And I'm Lorraine Brock, professional organizer, owner of Get Organized here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, helping you get everything organized. I'll see you next week on Tip Tuesday. Bye, guys.